Hey guys, welcome to another video. Tommy Roney here. I hope you are all doing well. Guys, I just want to say, as always at the start of any video, please like it. Please subscribe. This honestly means a lot to me. There's a lot of great content that's going to be coming out in FIFA 21. I am a pro player. I will be giving you all the top tips on how to improve your game. And you just cannot, obviously, stay tuned to all of that if you're not subscribed. Then I do see the numbers and a lot of you watch the videos on a not subscribing to the channel. So please do that. Um, plus, there's a giveaway on Twitter this week, towards the end of the week, I hope. I'll be able to put it out. So stay tuned, uh, check my Twitter out, uh, follow me on there, put the notifications on. You don't want to miss out on that giveaway for FIFA 21. But guys, today we will be going over um, the icons in FIFA 21, the new ones. What kind of ratings we expect from these guys. And um, yeah, we'll be giving you a bit of a background as well on some of these players in case you didn't know about them. And kind of my um, explanation as to why I gave them the rating I did. So guys, I'm going to start off with Davo. Uh, Suka, I hope I said that correctly, Davo Suka over here, and although he is um, a striker and I wanted to obviously do this from kind of the, def the back line onto the midfield onto the attack, I put him first, um, and that's because he previously featured on FIFA, and he was 88 rated then, so in terms of um, Davo Suka, I decided to kind of just guess around what EA will give him, because obviously nowadays we have the baby mid Prime and Prime Moments card versions. So firstly, I'd like to just mention, I think, you know, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Um, I only gave this to him because EA gave that to him before in FIFA 16. So I was thinking, they're not going to move away from it much. Maybe switch up his skills to 3-star, but um, most most likely they're going to keep a 4-star, four 4-star. Four and um, remember, Suka, you know, he was a top striker in the La Liga, you know, during his time at Sevilla, Real Madrid scoring tons of goals you know he also um got the golden boot in 1998 world cup he got croatia the first ever medal at the world cup and it was the debut world cup as well imagine so he got them the bronze medal um in terms of moments card you know i'm trying to guess here that maybe the third place playoff in the world cup that might be his moments card um we don't know he is revamping all of them this year so we'll have to wait to see that one but next guys Let's start off with the backline a bit more. We have Philip Lahm, you know, the, the man who Guardiola claims is one of the most intelligent players he has ever managed. You know, and he's managed play with people like Iniesta, Messi. So this is an incredible compliment. Um, he's, you know, he had a ridiculous ability, Lahm. Um, if any of you got to watch him, you know, to cut in, pass the ball off. He could play inverted wing back. He could play CDM. He could play right back. He was incredible. Um, sometimes he even took on shots, you know, four-star weak foot I think is a must. He wasn't the most skillful though in terms of on the ball, so obviously three-star skills, we can't expect a lot from a right back. Maybe um, the only thing I could, I could change, if, uh, what, you know, when I'm looking at this is that maybe his mid card, which is towards the end of his career, I could have made a CDM because he kind of transformed, kind of a Kimmich way. Kimmich obviously transformed now, but Lam transformed um, into a CDM, so I don't know um, what EA will do with that one. But, you know, for the sake of this video, I just wanted to hit, keep him right back, not to mess it up around too much. And, you know, as you know, he, yeah, come on, he had incredible moments in his career, you know. Um, I think one of his best moments, and I remember this one personally, his goal to send Germany into the Euro 2008 final when they faced Turkey in the semi-final. Turkey was super difficult to beat in that year. Um, it was, you know, really unexpected and special from Lam. So I think this might be the moment EA chooses for his moments card. But let's move on to another player. Um, next we have uh, Petr Cech. You know, most people consider him to be the best goalkeeper in the Premier League of all time. Um, it's hard, you know, to kind of argue with that. He has, you know, the, the time he took to reach 100 clean sheets is the fastest in only 180 appearances. You know, he has the most clean sheets in one season in the Premier League. I think it was 24 during that first season with Mourinho. If I'm correct, someone can correct me on that. And um, also he has the most clean sheets of all time in the Premier League. You know, and this kind of legacy means that he has to have a very, very good FIFA 21 card. I'd be surprised if they don't give him, you know, they might even give him 93. I wouldn't even be surprised as he's prime. You know, there are other keepers from ex-Premier League keepers there, like Lehman van der Sar, but he was just that one little um, step above them, considering his whole career was there as well. 
So his moments card, a tough one. He has so many amazing performances in his life. Maybe the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. I think people are forgetting that um, he saved the penalty from Robin in extra time. So I think um, that's well worthy of a moments card, I think, because he was a big hero there as well. Um, not just Drogba, obviously. And so, I think it only makes sense to move from one Chelsea icon to another. And let's have a look at Ashley Cole. You know, four appearances against Lionel Messi. Never conceded. He never conceded to Lionel Messi. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo said he is one of the toughest defenders he has ever faced. You know, these kind of compliments don't come from nowhere. You know, Ashley Cole does uh, deserve a very good card. And without a doubt, I think he's going to be incredible in the game. You know, he, was, he wasn't like the most incredibly gifted on the ball in terms of skills you know three star skills i think is good you know um he's right foot he didn't use too much he didn't have to use left back so we'd say three stars maybe four star weak foot you know but let's be honest he had a ridiculous career right so how do we pick a special moment you know we didn't really want i didn't want well I didn't really want to look at the Champions League final and give it to every ex-Chelsea star, you know what I mean, and put them there. Um, so maybe the 2002 FA Cup win, the 2012 FA Cup win for Ashley Cole. Um, maybe even they'll choose his England performance, you know, against Germany in 2002. He pulled off a defensive masterclass when England famously beat Germany. Um, and it was only his fifth match for England as well. So that's very, very impressive. And for such an impressive player, I'm only, I'm only expecting EA to really pull out an incredible card. Either way, guys, let's move on um, to the last addition to the back line. That is Nemanja Vidic, the Serbian pit bull. One of the toughest defenders the Premier League has ever seen. And you know he must be tough if he has a chant, literally claiming he will kill you. That's literally how strong he was. Um, apart from that, you know, he was ridiculously composed. He was one of the most important players for Sir Alex Ferguson um in the 2000s the end of 2000s and obviously the start of the 2010s um and this, you know he established a ridiculous partnership with Rio Ferdinand they were nearly unbeatable but Vidic was obviously always the slower one that's why the pace is a bit lower guys I didn't put him above 80 with like all the other defenders in the game he was honestly not that quick and I think even I'm being a bit generous here um, but I do hope hope that he obviously doesn't lower too much, you know, because I don't want them to make him useless. He was an insane centre-back, and he deserves all the respect he gets. Um, moment card, once again tough. You know, 2008 Champions League final in Moscow against Chelsea. Um, he had incredible matches in 2008-2009 season. Man United had a lot of injuries, but he played every single game in the Premier League, keeping 14 clean sheets. I just hope that EA really does this man justice. You know, he deserves an incredible card. So let's move on to the midfield, you know. A player that also played for Manchester United, Bastian Schweinsteiger. One of my favourite players to watch as a child, honestly. What a joy to watch that player. Um, and before he joined United, obviously, as we know, he dominated the Bundesliga in Bayern Munich colours. Freestyle skills, I mean, he was not the most skillful, let's let's not lie to ourselves here. Four-star weak for obviously, his ability on both of his feet was one of his top strengths. He was so good at shooting with his left. I think he scored against Man United in the Champions League, if I remember correctly. I don't remember which match it was, actually. But Schweinsteiger scored a banger in the Champions League, and it was with his left. Um, let's be honest, right? That baby card, he looks a bit like the German Eminem, you know, but let's be... That's only when he started his career, you know, he had incredible moments. Um, you know, World Cup victory in 2014. He had incredible performances in, in um, the 2013-2014 Champions League semi-final as Bayern beat Barcelona 7-0 on aggregate. It's probably one of the best performances in the midfield from him uh, during those two ties. You know, he closed down Iniesta as if it's nothing. And, you know, who would have thought that Bayern would go on to destroy them even more now? You know, Bayern is kind of like the destroyers. They are the destroyers of um, all the big Champions League greats. But anyway, guys, let's have, a, um, let's have a little look at another top midfielder, you know, as we're speaking about Barcelona. And that is Xavi. Xavi, Xavi. I used to say Xavi. I guess it's Xavi from what I've been hearing, but... Probably one of the greatest passes that football has ever seen, honestly. It, you know, he made that in team in Barcelona, the one between 2009 and 2011, what they were. He's He was insane on the ball. His passing, his vision was just incredible. 
um, I honestly hope that EA makes passing as overpowered as they're anticipating it for, for it to be. Because imagine how insane this card would be if you could like use all your football knowledge to like kind of create chances. You know, those intricate one-two passes, and that would be incredible. And obviously, he's one of the best players to ever grace the football pitch, you know. So, choosing these moments card is very difficult, you know. I don't want to be repetitive of the Champions League final. You know, he had him against Man United in 2009 and 2011. Um, but even his game against PSG in 2012, Champions League, he achieved 100% pass accuracy. Which was only achieved by Javier Zanetti, but Javier Zanetti... Done, had it with 27 less passes than Xavi, who had 96 successful passes. I mean, that's more of an individual accolade, but it's still so impressive. And with that, we are going to move on to the attackers. Um, the attackers are incredible this year. I think all of the cards that I added are going to be useful. You know, first one, uh, let's have a look at Fernando Torres. One of the best players I've personally seen in the Premier League. I've been saying about a lot of these players, but he was incredible when he played with Liverpool. I'm a United fan. So I'll never forget when he destroyed that back four in 2008-2009 season. Um, but they didn't win the league. So obviously I'll take that. But, uh, you know, let's be honest. He was a top-class striker at his best. I think he underperformed as soon as he joined Chelsea. He could have had a few more years at the top. But he just kind of always... He had great games, then he kind of disappeared. And it kept, you know, coming and going for him. Um, but for his prime moments card, honestly... Most people would say that finish for Chelsea against Barcelona to send Chelsea to the Champions League final, but I actually think people forget by his important goal in the Euro 2008 final. He scored to uh, beat Germany in the final. You know that was the only goal. I think that is definitely that's one of the most that's one of the moments I'm super confident on will be the most important. Guys, the cover star, right? Big man himself, Eric Cantona, the French king. You know, one of the most prolific players that played for Sir Alex Ferguson. You know, he was one of the best players in the league on the ball. Um, he was able to create chances with both of his feet. You know, five-star skills, I think, is very deserved. Four-star week for Some people would say five. I wouldn't argue with them. You know, he had cra he had crazy moments. So I'm expecting his aggression <laughs> to be high, which is good on FIFA because you can use it to really get the ball. So I think he's going to be very, very overpowered, you know. I mean, you know, that time... He did the Kung Fu kick on an opposition fan. I think that warrants a 99 aggression. But either way, he truly like kind of defines what it means to play beautiful football. You know, it was all like kind of flawless for him. Um, he was so all round. So I'm thinking he's honestly, except defending, his his card is going to be insane, and it has to be high rated because obviously he's a cover star. Uh, moments card was tough, so I chose the iconic goal against Sunderland. You know, this is the one you can see in the prime moments picture. Um, kind of, you know, kind of showcases. The way he's such a genius, his personality, you know, and everything. Like, the way he has that insane football and ability to pull something like that off. And the brutal kind of self-confidence and arrogance and his own ability to be able to celebrate like that without fear of feeling like uh, he looks stupid. <laughs> but either way, guys, tell me what you think about that. I can't know was a tough one, I have to say. Let's move on to the last two guys. Our first one, uh, a, big, a bit of a fan favorite. People have been asking for this for years. Samuel Eto'o, uh, he's one of the icons, you know, he will be incredible on FIFA, look at the pace, you know, the physique, he was a very agile player, I'm expecting him to be very hard to defend, you know, 5 star weak foot, I wouldn't put it past EA, 4 star skills because, well, he never did anything over the top, obviously, um, but look, he was hard, again, he's won literally the Champions League in 2006, 2009 with Barca, then with Inter Milan in 2010, and not to mention all the African Cup of Nations he's won as well. I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of accolades this guy had. Um, maybe 2006 Champions League victory. He, he scored the equaliser against Arsenal. I think he's, he was very crucial there. So I think EA will choose that one. And um, guys, I, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I just want to go on to the last one. Puskas. I had a big one. They big star himself. Many people don't know about him. He, you know, he was a genius when it comes to um, being a striker, you know. Um... But he played all the way back in the 1950s for Real Madrid. His goal scoring records are still remembered till now, you know, and they are still unbeaten, some of them, you know, 514 goals in 530 club games, you know, that's insane. Not to mention another 84 goals in 85 matches for Hungary. Then he played for Spain for a year, played four games, bang, scored three goals. He was insane, insane player. 
And many people, you know, do not rain because they're looking at clips and like, wow, these are not so good or good and all that. You know, those were different times. But, you know, let's be honest, he revolutionized what it means to be a striker. He set the standards of what is expected of strikers at the top level. And for that, I think he deserves an insane card. Um, he wasn't very, like, kind of thin either. His physique was pretty big. You know, those were the times when players were pretty big. So I'm expecting him to have lots of strength, lots of aggression. Um... And you know, FIFA 21 is going to be an absolute pain to deal with, especially if someone uses one of his top tier cars. Um, it's hard to pinpoint one special game, you know, he played so long ago and he scored in like every single game he's played, so it's tough. But you know, 1960, European Cup, or what was then the Champions League final, he scored four goals in Real Madrid's 7 3 win over Eintracht Frankfurt, which I think is very impressive. He also went on to score five goals and two legs against Feyenoord in the 1966 European Cup. But he didn't play in the final due to an injury, so I think EA might miss out on that one there. And um, I wouldn't blame them. I think the four goals he scored in 1960 is enough to give him a, um Icon Moments card. Um, and yeah, guys. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please comment below what you think. You know, I'd love to debate some of these. I know that it's kind of down to interpretation. I think I've got them somewhat on point. Like, maybe one or two ratings. But that's it. Like, it's not that far off. Um, I tried being a bit generous, hoping that he obviously gives us some insane cars this year. But guys, most of all, I want to once again thank you for your support. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, it honestly means a lot to me. Um, and yeah guys, I hope uh, you enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day ahead of you. Or days till I make another video and we get to check something new out again. If you have any ideas or anything that you specifically want, then please let me know. I am happy to listen to any feedback or comments or any other content you want me to bring out. All right, but for now, guys, thank you. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for giveaways and peace.